doubles and coffee. Well, Trinidad and Tobago, all your sweet too bad, man. All your put, miscreants in power, selfish, narcissistic, arrogant, blithering idiots. Call me, but yesterday sent out a public tweet to celebrate with the public victory in the Privy Council. The TTRA, the Revenue Authority, could come onward to getting more efficient tax collection. Call me, but celebrating with you that he could come in your pocket and take out more of your money now. So I guess. When he sees yours lining up in the hot sun to go and pay property tax, he sits down by a TV, that little dwell, and he goes, yes, I'm salivating. Look at them. Go and pay your property tax for me, the call member, but who cannot account for your money and your, the expenditure. One billion dollars of expenditure not accounted for by the Auditor General. Five bubba billion dollars of contracts and tenders without competition, without processes, without paperwork. Over 20 bubba billion in contracts over the last six years, according to the Office of the Procurement Regulator. Call him, but is salivating and celebrating that he won at the Privy Council. The PNM can implement the TTRA. What he didn't tell you. Is that all the Privy Council said is that basically the constitutional right of the government duly elected with a mandate to uh, collect taxes is there and upheld and that you don't have to be a public officer on the, 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 the system, the public PSA, that you don't have to be a public official, that it could be anyone employed under the TTRA due process. But the part that he didn't let you see, the part that he didn't want you to read, is that the Privy Council said... And I quote, but this must, must be most important is that the process is bereft and safeguarded from political interference. The political interference is the problem with the TTRA that the minister gets to, put, that get, gets to select a PNM board, a Colmen Bud board, a Dwayne board in charge of your taxes. We all know when PNM select people what happens. I don't have to remind you. And then the PNM selected board selects the basic CEO, the director general of the tax authority, the revenue authority. So it's PNM balance juice controlling taxation, tax information, implementation, punishment, information sharing. That is the problem. And the Privy Council said, not understanding because the one drawback of the Privy Council is that they really don't live down here now. It's a positive, it's a double-edged sword. It's good that they don't, they're not infected by Balise Jews, but then they don't have the knowledge of how pervasive, how corrupt, how controlling, how dictatorial Balise Jews is in every nook and cranny of this society, in every so-called independent institution. So unfortunately for the Privy Council, they have approved based on law, yes, but what they said will never happen. That it must be bereft of political interference. They must be safeguarded from political interference of Colmen Butt, of the Dwen, of the PNM. That is an impossibility. Now also you see Colmen Butt celebrating tax collection. That shows you that the PNM has no more ideas about creating revenue streams, diversifying the economy. The only way they could get money for their recusers, for their financiers, for their nonsensical buildings and the car parks and the edifices of corruption and the stadia all over that are unutilized and unmaintained but build more, spend more money for Noel Garcia to spend more money for the ministers to get more recusers, over 600 recusers for their friends and family to get richer, for the rich to get richer. The only concept and idea of the PNA is to tax you more. And then the second one that they do, but they're having problems with that now, is to borrow because they borrow so much. The reason they're fighting down the Auditor General, the reason they wanted to create this phantom revenue is so that the standard and pause and the credit rating agencies would not lower the rating for the country so that calm the Dwem, Inbut, and the PNM could continue to borrow money, borrow and borrow and borrow to finance their corrupt projects, their ridiculous, useless, non-revenue earning projects to continue the corruption, the waste, the mismanagement, the loss, lack of value, no value, no tendering. That's why they water down the procurement legislation 
So come in but celebrating, being able, giving the authority to tax you more, to collect more, to make sure that you pay tax so you could continue to drive on bad road and bust your tire. So you could continue to dodge bullet, bullet when you go into the grocery. So you could continue to have to find money to pay for your children university because no gate. So you could continue to have barbecue and curriculum to raise money for your children because they don't fund the children life fund. So you could continue to work hard to fill your car with gas because they take away your fuel subsidy and laugh. They take away your textbook subsidy and laugh. They take away everything that was for you and laugh. Why? Because that's direct charges. Direct charges benefit you, the people. PNM is not of direct charges. They have discretionary spend. So call him but is celebrating that he could take more of your money out your pocket more efficiently with his people appointed by him and the PNM to persecute you. As moving down. To persecute the population. To control the population. And you know what? That's because some of you all think voting had no consequences. That is some kind of race game. Black versus Indian. Christian versus Hindu. Muslim in between. Black, whether you're red or you're yellow. Election is not about that. Election is about serious policies impacting your pocket. Call me but wants to empty your pocket. The UNC wants you to fill your own pocket. And to protect your children. Vote seriously. Vote UNC.